Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the volume of a right pyramid. A right pyramid means that the height is perpendicular to the base. So the volume of a right pyramid is found by doing the one third times the area of the base times the height, and the base can be any polygon. So if your base is a rectangle, you would find the area of the base by doing length times width. If it was a triangle, you would do one half base times height. And if it was any other type of polygon, like a pentagon, you would use the formula for those. Okay, so I'm going to do two of them, one for a rectangular base and one for a triangular base. So for the first one, the first thing that we want to do is find the area of the base. And so remember that the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So then if we plug it into the volume formula, we would have one third times the length and it doesn't matter whether you use four for your length or three for your length. Because three times four is the four, same as four times three. And then we would go times the height of the pyramid. So the height of the pyramid is the distance from the top point to the base. And so we would go times 15. So with this, you can always plug it in a calculator if you need to, but we know that one third divided uh, or one third of three is just one, those would cancel each other out. So I would be left with four times 15, which ends up giving me 60. And our units, because we have inches times inches times inches, would end up being 60 cubic inches. Okay, so our volume of our first one would be 60 cubic inches. Moving on to our second one that we have, uh, because of the fact that the base is this triangle down here. Um, the area of the triangle, remember, is one half times the base times the height, where the height is the perpendicular distance from the base of seven times the height of the rect or sorry, of the triangle at the bottom would be four. So we would set this up as one half times seven times four. And if you want to, you can always find this first. Um, so if you wanted to, we could do four divided by two would be two and then two times seven would give me 14. So that would be the area of the base. And then you can plug it into the volume formula or you can plug it in all at once. It doesn't really matter. So we would do one third times 14 times the height of the pyramid, which ends up being six. So now if we find this, the easiest thing to do is to take the one third of the six first. So six divided by three ends up giving us two. And so we're just left with two times 14. So if we find two times 14, we would end up with 28. And on this one, again, our units would be cubed because we are finding the volume. So this is a pretty easy process as long as you know the formula for the area of the base. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like for me to cover, please let me know that as well. And as always, thanks for watching.